Hello, welcome to Step Ahead with Ernie Rivera. This is your host, Ernie Rivera, and I faked it. Now bear with me, friends and family, because it is uh, very early over here. I mean, it's not super early, but it's it's about 8.30 a.m., and this is after daylight savings time, so we're, uh, we're set over here on about 7.30 a.m., um, and I've already been up for <laughs> for a couple of hours. Uh, but this episode is about faking it until you make it, dressing for the job you want, not the job you got. So let's talk about what that means uh, means to me and maybe what it means to you. So let's rewind many, 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 many years ago. As some of you know, I'm an actor. I've, uh, I've had the opportunity to uh, work with a lot of really great people on a lot of really great projects, but that was not always the case. I was uh, I was a young man. I was a uh, 18 year old without a single credit to my name, without a single acting class under my belt, and without um, any knowledge of the business at all. Uh, this is not unusual to a lot of you. Um, and again, I'm not saying you need to apply this necessarily to the world of entertainment, although you can. Uh, but this this lesson uh, today's lesson can be applied to just about any anything you want to do in this world. I knew at that age of 18 that I was not where I wanted to be. Um, So what did I do about that? Well, what I did was, uh, and and maybe you'll think this is funny, but I I created a a Facebook page or a MySpace page. I don't know. I I forget. It's it's all bleeding together at this point. But, um, But I created a page where I was the me that I wanted to be. I was uh, faking it till I made it. I was dressing for the job I wanted, not the job I had. I on this on this page, I was posting um, I was posting events I wanted to go to. I was posting uh, pictures of myself dressed like I wanted to dress, doing the things that I wanted to do. And again, this page was not to fool the world. This page was to fool myself. I um, I needed to see this image. I needed to get a clear vision in my head first of this idealized version of me. And when I had this idealized version of me, I could start um, bridging the gap. I could start working towards becoming this person I wanted to be. So once I had the page up, I started uh, dressing like that, I started uh, acting like that. Within um, <clears throat> within a uh, good taste, that is, I was not uh, acting in any ill way towards anyone. I think values come first. You know, values are most important. But if you're if you're already acting within your your values, there's no reason you can't start becoming this person, this other person who maybe has uh, values that supersede yours. Um, so, for instance, when I started taking acting classes, I put the acting classes on there. When I started doing um, doing certain jobs, I made sure to post every job that I went to on that Facebook page. I posted every event I went to, everything I wanted to see, everything I wanted to do, and I acted as if this was as if this was um, this was me, and, and it. It, it was me, but it was uh, it was a cleaner, more polished, more put together future version of myself again that I started that I started working towards. I think having that that vision articulated uh, on the page made it just so much easier to work towards the goals. I was listening to um, I was listening to a, a YouTube recently where they were talking about creating this idealized version of yourself and and what they were saying is that it was so important to take this idealized version of yourself the person you want to be and write down um, write down the attributes and the values of this person then in the present day ask yourself with every action you do does this action serve uh, serve the goal of, uh, of becoming closer to this idealized version of me. Is, is what I'm doing today taking me closer or further away from the me I want to be? 
And again, um, the best way, in my opinion, to create an idealized version of yourself, an avatar, if you will, is um, especially when you're younger and you don't know who you want to be or how you want to be, I would say look at the qualities of people you admire. Um, cherry pick those qualities um, and, uh, and create them. Mix them all together, all the best qualities from the best people you know. That, that, that is, uh, especially if they're doing what you want to do, if they're in the field you want to be in. And um, mix them together and, and uh, use that as your template for your first perfect you, for your first avatar. And of course, when you progress, you may eventually uh, get to your, the point of your avatar. And what do you do then? Do you, do you stop? Do you stop because you've become the person you want to be? No, you keep going. You create a new avatar. You create an avatar of you 10 years down the line again. Um, a more, more uh, perfect, more idealized version of yourself. Not perfect, but further along, further along with uh, qualities that you're gonna want now at this age. Um, Matthew McConaughey famously said that when they asked him who his hero was, he, he thought about it and he said, uh, my hero is me in 10 years. And um, sure enough, 10 years later, the person came back and asked him, so uh, Matthew, it's been, 10 years now are you your hero yet he's like no not even not even close and he's like well, okay okay well then who's your hero Matthew he said you know I thought about it and my hero is me 10 years from now and the idea is to always be chasing this better version of yourself friends and family I would truly truly appreciate it if you could please click like and subscribe uh, for this video, especially if you found value in it. It really helps the channel. Uh, I appreciate it and uh, Hopefully you get some value out of the videos. So thank you so much I really appreciate it and click the notification bell so that you get the new episodes as soon as they come out. Thank you Okay, so I can hear you now you're saying but Ernie what if I don't want to be in entertainment? Does this still apply and uh, I'm gonna tell you something when I decided to go back to school to pursue uh, first physics, then uh, then engineering, I decided to get into. I had no business in those uh, fields. I had no, I mean, zero background in them. I know uh, a lot of you you might take physics or even a calculus in high school, right? No, none of that, none of that for me. I started from ground zero, but, but what did I know? I knew that I loved these science documentaries and I knew that I wanted to be able to make stuff that made a difference. Uh, I really was really interested in these fields of um, physics and engineering. So I, I, uh, I pretended, I pretended to be this guy who was good at math. I pretended to be this guy who was good at talking to professors. I pretended to be this person who who uh, had internships and jobs and experiences. And uh, over time, as I started to collect these things, I created a, a LinkedIn to demonstrate to people um, my schooling, my internships, my experience with people, and all of this only happened. It was only able to happen because because I I faked it. I, I really 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 did. Uh, again, no business in physics and engineering. But I mean, here we are. It's a couple years later, and boy, if I didn't come a long way, and and it, I could have only come that way if I first had that image of myself in my head. And again, these uh, these websites are not to to uh, um, pull the, the wool over anyone's eyes. They're not to trick anyone, but they're so that you have an image of yourself in your head, how you want to be, so that you can work towards it. And again, if you, if your uh, big thing is not these websites, then uh, create a scrapbook. Create a scrapbook with all the pictures of how you want to be in there and all the things you've done so far. 
create a, a vision board, uh, make a painting of yourself how you want to be, or make a poster of yourself how you want to be. These will all help. The clearer the vision, the clearer, the clearer uh, your future will be. Guaranteed. Guaranteed. So, guys, I uh, I really thank you, uh, friends and family, for for watching this video with me, for being a part of it with me. Um, again, if you could like and subscribe, hit the notification bell. I really, really like it. Thank you so much. Um, I hope you all have a great day and uh, a wonderful week. Take care, guys. Bye.